Hey guys, Jano Zero, how you doing? I hope all is well in YouTube land. <laughs> Whatever part of the world that you are in. Uh, okay, I get a lot of questions about uh, rabbits and our rabbit setup. And uh, we've made a lot of videos in the past about you know how we got our stuff set up. Um, but I get a lot of just general questions about what kind of benefits uh, do the rabbits bring to your you know to your homestead if you're if you're going to raise rabbits now. Keep in mind, please, I'm not an expert, you know, rabbitometrist or rabbitologist or any of that kind of stuff, right? I'm just a regular old dude that's got a little small rabbitry, and these are some of the benefits that we get from our rabbits and uh, some of the things that we do with our rabbits. Um, the first thing, of course, that you get whenever you start raising and breeding rabbits and you start having rabbits, the first thing you get, naturally, is you get bunnies. You can see here we've got some, uh, these are standard Rexes. Here, my dude. First and foremost, what you get is little bunnies. And uh, we sell a lot of our little baby bunnies. They are, that's uh, one of the things that's kind of like a, a, I guess it would be a, a commodity or a product. So we have uh, bunnies that we, can, that we can sell and trade and so on and so forth. Uh, the second one, like these are our meat rabbits. So we can benefit from that. Not only do we get, when we, when we butcher rabbits, we get good, wholesome, healthy meat for our family. But there are several byproducts that you get from the butchering process that are very helpful and handy uh, around your homestead, especially if you have other animals, dogs and cats. The heart, lungs, the liver, and the kidneys, uh, all we grind all that stuff up for, for animal food, especially cats. Cats are uh, you know, just a regular straight carnivore, and uh, they, our, cat, our cat just loves uh, the, the rabbit's uh, I don't know, innards, so to speak. Uh, we don't use the intestine or the stomach. Those will go into the uh, the dirt pile out there, so to speak. Uh, and then you have, uh, from the butchering process, you have the skin. Uh, we like to keep and preserve our skins. Not a lot of market for rabbit skins unless you make something out of them. So if you can save them up and say you save up a hundred of them or so, you can sew a blanket and sell your blanket that you've made uh, from your preserved hide. Uh, the white rabbits, that's the reason why we do standard Rex rabbits is because they're, they're colored and uh, we get all different kind of colors of, of skins from them. The white skins typically, uh, if you're going to do something with it, you're going to need to dye it, uh, which is not really that big of a deal, but it is an extra step and an extra little bit of cost uh, to buy the dye. Uh, of course, you can skin out the feet uh, and have those lucky rabbit's feet, so to speak. There's not a big call for that anymore and usually I don't do that. Um, the ears. Uh, you can cut the ears off of the head and dehydrate those and make dog and cat chew toys uh, and chew like a chew stick type thing with the rabbit ears. So there's all kinds of different byproducts that you get from the actual uh, butchering process that have value uh, to your homestead and to uh, you know your livelihood so to speak because there's all kinds of things that you can sell. Like I say, you can sell the rabbits themselves, you can sell the, uh, uh, yeah, check with your local county and your local states and, uh, and your area to see if you're allowed to sell uh, butchered rabbit meat and, uh, and the hides and so on and so forth. Now, uh, another byproduct from rabbits is going to be underneath every cage, we're going to have uh, this manure pile. And a couple of times a year, we clean that manure pile up, and that is excellent, excellent fertilizer for your garden, whether it be a uh, regular garden or raised bed garden, uh, planter boxes, uh, round flower pot type thing, anything and everything. This is a good manure you can plant right into it. It doesn't have to be composted uh, or anything. You can just plant right into it. Uh, if you don't need any extra of it, you can save some of your feed bags that your rabbit feed comes in and fill it full of rabbit manure and you can sell that to, uh, you know, for a couple of dollars to people who have uh, gardens but don't have rabbits as fertilizer. So. That's another resource. Also, the uh, the manure, if you like, not usually not inside the barn, but our other rabbits, our mini Rex rabbits set up where it's outside, uh, the manure will attract black soldier flies. And the black soldier fly larvae that comes in the manure, uh, it's nice and big and it's full of protein. And we will harvest that larvae to feed to our birds, our chickens and our pheasants. And they just absolutely love it and it's great and healthy for them. And in the process of the uh, the larvae working the manure, it chops it up real fine, and it makes it even better fertilizer. So, not only are we uh, feeding ourselves with our rabbits, we're feeding our garden plants, and we're feeding uh, some of our other critters just from having our rabbits. And it saves, in the long run, it saves a lot of feed cost and fertilizer cost, and so on and so forth. So rabbits, 
uh, once you get them set up and you get your routine down and you, uh, you know there's different kind of programs that you can put into your computer to say okay I bred uh, such and such dough on this date she'll be ready for the nest box on this date she'll be having her babies on this date you can wean the babies on this date and there's all kind of stuff you can do uh, or just keep track on a calendar or put your little board in somewhere in your in your setup to keep track of it and once you get your routine and your cycle down we Man, we kick out a lot of rabbits. Uh, just we run usually we run four or five doe rabbits uh, out here in the barn and two bucks. And over the course of this year alone, probably close to 150, maybe even more bunnies will come out of just this little area of our barn. Uh, and we'll, like I said, we'll sell them in all different kinds of forms, and we'll use them for uh, for food for our family as well. Some of the uh, rabbit breeds are more expensive than the other rabbit breeds. If you have a uh, not necessarily a rare breed, but a, you know something that not everybody has, like our standard Rex. Some of our standard Rex bunnies will go for as much as thirty dollars, uh, and some of the you know New Zealands, the pedigreed rabbits and stuff, twenty dollars, twenty-five dollars. Most of the time, are just regular old meat rabbits. Uh, we'll get ten dollars out of those for for rabbits. So there's all different ways that they are beneficial and provide uh, all kinds of income. Whether that income is actual income from selling something, whether it be selling manure, selling hides, selling bunnies, selling full-grown rabbits, selling rabbit meat, uh, or it's money that we are able to uh, save as our own income by not having to buy fertilizer, uh, not having to buy meat, not having to buy extra chicken feed through the summer and the fall. Uh, it's very beneficial to have these rabbits around. And uh, yeah, they provide a lot for us and I'm extremely, extremely happy that we have, that we have our rabbitry up and going. It's, uh, it takes a, it'll take a little while to get everything in your routine to get used to, you know, to when you can breed the dough. Like this dough right here, our standard Rex dough, these babies are four weeks old, roughly. They're about four weeks. They grow a little bit smaller than the, than the New Zealand's do, but we grow them out, and, and it's worth it to us to get the, uh, the Rex fur that are on there. Hi, Mama. To get the Rex fur that's on there. So some of these bunnies may take another two weeks or so in the grow out, but to me, it's worth it because we'll have a better better quality of uh, skin to start using when we ever we uh, whenever we uh, start skinning them and uh, so there's just all different kinds and we're not getting into the breeds that you know different breeds and different benefits of the breeds this is just a very general uh, you know what how it benefits to us but like I say it's gonna take a while to figure out what breeds working best for you for whatever it is that you want to do uh, some people don't want to butcher their rabbits and that's okay uh, you want to raise rabbits and sell them, uh, fair rabbits and, and, and show rabbits and stuff like that. That's absolutely okay, and it's possible to do. A lot of people are looking for pet rabbits. And be sure to even check with, you have, uh, if you have local pet stores and stuff around, be sure and check with them. Say, hey, I raise you know, such and such breed of rabbit. Would you be interested if I have any extra bunnies in buying them so you can resell them in your, uh, in your shop? So all kind of things to do, all kind of benefits of the rabbitry. Uh, it's not something that you're going to get two two rabbits and all of a sudden you're going to be an expert rabbit raiser or whatever it is that we're called. Uh, but give some time and see the routine and see how they react and see how the bunnies grow and get your get your routine down. And uh, it won't be long and you'll be able to kick out the jams just like everybody else does. And uh, and if I can do it, I mean, you guys can totally, totally do it because I ain't nothing special. I'm just a regular old dude out here in the hills. So uh, I hope this helps. I hope this answers some questions on benefits to the homestead that uh, rabbitry can bring. Uh, you guys have a great day. And yes, not to mention if there's ever some kind of a big, you know, natural disaster or we find ourselves in some sort of a situation where we're on our own and we can't get to, uh, you know, to the store to buy meat, uh, the rabbits will provide a lot, a lot of meat for us because you figure 150 rabbits over the course of the year, you butcher them out between you know four or five pounds of rabbit that adds up to be a lot of meat that's going to be a good uh, good supplement to hunting and stuff like that so anyway i hope this helps guys you guys thank you very much for watching uh y'all have a great day god bless me buzz buzz the end